Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge of Tips for Travellers. I'm going to tell you things that you absolutely need to know about Avalon waterways to help you decide if this is the right river cruise line for you. So the first thing you need to know about Avalon is what do they do the same and what do they do different? What makes them unique? So there's probably about five things that they do that are very similar. First of all, the ships in terms of their size are basically the same as everybody else. A river cruise boat is constrained by how long, how wide and how high it can be by the nature of the rivers that it cruises on. So their ships are basically the same size and look very similar from the outside to pretty much all of the other ships that you'll see. So this means, of course, like all river cruise boats, the facilities are relatively limited. So on the ship you'll find a main lounge, you'll find a second lounge, you'll have a dining room, a very small hairdressers, a fitness center and a very large deck on top. Also very importantly there's no medical center or medical facilities on board so if you have any medical issues they have to be dealt with on land. That's true of course across all river cruise boats. The second thing that they do that are very similar is the rivers and itineraries. There are only so many rivers that you can basically go river cruising on and the itineraries are very similar because of course everyone wants to go and see the main attractions. Whatever itinerary you want or look at it's probably likely that Avalon will have an itinerary that is the same and can offer you an itinerary that covers all the main sites. They cruise on the Rhine, the Danube, the Main, the Mosel, the Rhone, the River Seine in France. The third thing they do the same is in terms of fares. Their fares are largely all-inclusive and this is pretty consistent across river cruising. So your fare will include your accommodation, it'll include your food, so three meals a day. Also on Avalon, you will get afternoon tea at around about four o'clock in the afternoon, and also you will get a late night snack at around about 10.30. Drinks with meal times are included, so at lunch and at dinner you can have soft drinks, beers and wine are included. Onboard enrichment activities, so the port talks are included. Wi-Fi is included. There's also 24 hour coffee and tea and little snacks available as well. Excursions are included. There's normally at least one excursion included every day. Again, that's fairly consistent with other river cruise lines. When you go on tours, they use the Vox system like most river cruisers do. And these are great. Basically a little receiver and you have an earpiece and the guide then transmits to whatever channel that you're all set on. And it's great because you can actually wander away from the guide, go and take pictures, but stay in touch and hear the whole commentary so you don't have to huddle closely around the guide. The dress code is also very similar to other river cruise lines. It's pretty casual, so people generally don't dress up. They might wear, you know, gentlemen might wear a long sleeve shirt and slacks for dinner, but it's pretty informal. The food on board is also very good and has some local spins to it. So again, that's also fairly consistent with most you know, river cruise lines. So those are all the things that they do similar. So what does actually Avalon do different? What are the things that you should consider if you're thinking about Avalon over other river cruise lines? Well, first of all, it's part of Globus. So it's part of a very big travel group. And that's very important because what they do is they have obviously lots of expertise in most of the places they call upon. And also they have guides, which they have personally through Globus used verified and tested over time. So they do have a lot of expertise in all of the destinations that they go to and lots of resources they can draw on. So this is quite unique to many of the other river cruise lines which either are very specific river cruise lines or perhaps are spin-off of ocean river cruise lines. The fact that they're part of Globus and all that they can leverage and bring is very important. The second thing is what they call the signature suite ships. The cabins are bigger than pretty much every other river cruise line, certainly any other luxury river cruise line. On average, they're about 30% bigger. So the great thing is you have beds that point towards the window because they have room to do that. And so you can watch the scenery pass by. The other thing that's very important is they have these massive big windows which stretch from one side of the cabin to the other side and bear in mind the cabins are bigger. They can open up nearly seven feet. Certainly as of the time of recording this nobody has windows that open as big as this. The other thing that I think makes them very different is they have a lot of special interest cruises. Some of these include things like wine appreciation, culinary, beer, music and jazz, art and impressionist, history where they focus on World War II history, Hatsburg royalty, Jewish heritage, Christmas time cruises, golf cruises, cruises focus around specific authors, garden and nature. Lots of other cruise lines are experimenting with those, but certainly in my experience and what I've looked at is Avalon really have a lot of special interest cruises and I think that does make them kind of interesting. The other thing that makes them very different is that they do have a big focus around a much more active way of sightseeing. Now they have some very specific cruises which are active discovery cruises and the idea would be there are more hiking, biking, even kayaking excursions. They have bicycles on board all their ships which you can then use to go cycling. They also have those Nordic uh, walking poles. The other thing which they do which I find very interesting is they ha have a focus on 
healthy eating. There's also an appreciation that people are much more diet aware. And one of the things that I really struck me on this is they make a big issue around allergies and dietary requirements. So all the menus are listed in lots of detail, the different potential allergy issues. They spend a lot of time talking to guests, understanding what their issues are, and making sure that they are tailoring the menu or identifying on the menu what you can't eat. You'll always find healthy eating options. And these have been developed with a partnership with two Austrian chefs called Carl and Leo Rensch, part of a very high quality vegetarian restaurant in Austria. So these are all vegetarian and vegan dishes. The other thing which I personally really like is they are very adult focused. So while a lot of River Cruise Lines are trying to attract more families, more kids on board, actually what Avalon do is they are much more adult focused. So you can't bring any children under the age of eight on board and they don't provide kids clubs or they don't provide very kid specific itineraries or kid specific programs. So they are very much focused on catering for an adult audience. Well, one of the things that really struck me on board Avalon is that the sort of average age and the mix on board Avalon were much more diverse than many other river cruise lines. So I would say the average age is younger than many other river cruise lines have been on. Now river cruising is still seen very much as a slightly older activity. So many cruise lines will have people in their 60s and 70s as the main age group. I would say Avalon, in based on my experience, it's younger than that. It still probably averages around you know 50 late 50s but much more diverse in terms of age range a much wider age range and that could well be because of their link to globus it is an english speaking experience so the people on board are english speaking so you'll find a lot of americans a lot of canadians a lot of australians new zealanders a lot of people from the uk i've spoken about what's very similar what they do different and hopefully that's helped you make up your mind if avalon waterways is the right company for you to go on your european river cruise with i'd love it if you enjoyed the video if you'd like the video but very importantly subscribe to tips for travelers because you'll get much more about river cruising much more about travel lots of travel inspiration advice and tips